Welcome, welcome, welcome to Rock Your Best Vocals. My name is Jim Chandler, where your best keeps getting better. Today, we're going to cover how to sing with a raspy voice the safe way. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to take you through the wrong way to do it, the more damaging way to do it. And then I'm going to take you through the safe way to do it. So there's a there's a kind of a, a kind of a right way and a kind of a wrong way, depending on whether or not you want to keep your voice for a long time. OK, because you could sing with a raspy voice and you could damage your voice very easily if you're singing incorrectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a classic raspy voice sound. We're going to take The Summer of 69 by Brian Adams, okay? Brian Adams has a, a very raspy voice, okay? Especially in that song, you can really hear it. And now the times are changing. Look at everything that's come and gone. Sometimes when I play that old six string, think about you wonder what went wrong. Standing on your mama's porch, you told me that she'd wait forever. So if you want to sing that kind of style of rasp, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to train our voice to get rasp without damaging it. OK, so first let's talk about the damaging way to do it. Now, there's a, the, the damaging way to do it is just to let a lot of air through your vocal cords. And if you look at it from the top, they're like this, okay? So they're kind of opening and closing. And if you let a lot of air go through them, they're like this, okay? Right? And as time goes on, they'll wear and they'll get swollen and then they won't close properly. So when you're singing later on in life, you'll have trouble having like a clean sound. You told me that you'd wait forever. You told me that you'd wait forever. Okay, so that's raspy. But you can hear in my voice, it's already like going tired from singing like that. A lot of vocal coaches will do huh sounds with you. Huh, 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 huh. Now, I don't like to do that because listen to that. That's That to me is pushing rasp through there. What we want to do is practice more semi-occluded exercises. You can go like this if you have to. Or just do sirens. I really like to do sirens because it focuses more on that nasal resonance. What we're going to do right now is we're going to cover the correct way to do it. And that's by using what's called vocal fry. So when you wake up in the morning, you uh, like that. Uh, oh, I'm just up out of bed. I need my coffee. Ow, yeah. Okay. Standing on your mama's. So what you'll feel is the back and top of your throat. You'll feel a little bit of a rattling, a little bit of a buzz. Start off really, really slowly and really, really quietly. Uh, uh, standing on your mama's porch You told me that you'd wait forever So here's how the two will sound, okay? They're going to sound a little bit different. You're going to say that the one where you're pushing a lot of air through sounds a little bit better but that's because it's probably gonna sound a lot more like brian adams does it but what you want to do is make sure you're not pushing too much air through standing on your mama's porch you told me that she'd wait forever standing on your mama's porch you told me that you wait forever standing on your mama's porch you told me that you wait forever. You hear the difference between those two? First one really made me want to cough. The second one, I'm pushing the air. I'm kind of not <sighs> breathing the air. I'm not standing on your mama's porch. I'm pushing the air out, taking a big deep breath, and I'm just like 
not letting air out. I'm, I'm pushing, but I'm not letting air. Stay out in on your mama's porch. You told me that you wait forever. Hopefully you can hear the two, the difference there. So that's how to sing with a raspy voice the safe way. Don't breathe through it. That's the dangerous way. The one that will damage your vocal cords long term. And even possibly like prevent you from being able to finish like not even maybe a song, but a set. If you're like really breathing through and you go, oh, I can get this raspy voice if I just go like this. Oh, I'm pushing a lot. Ah, ah. That's breathing a lot. But if you go, ah, you almost get the same sound by holding back the air. And pushing just that little bit of air out. That is the correct way to do it. The safe way to do it. Okay. So I hope this video helped. Like and subscribe. You know what to do. Rock your best vocals. Your best keeps getting better. Thank you very much.